Our next step would be importing the JQ plot JavaScript code into our project. We will not integrate it directly to database nor will go for creating the model first. What we'll do is we'll try to uh, to display the chart as it comes from the JQ plot documentation. We'll try to display that chart in our MVC project first. So that is we'll import everything as such and see whether it works or not. If it is working then we'll move to the next step of integrating it with database. So let us see how we can do it. To just recapitulate what we have at present is we last time we added to bundle config the bundles were added then this is our home controller which is uh, there we added a view also to that then you have layout dot CSHTML this is what we have added to it so far the bundles for CSS bundles for JS this ordering is very important jQuery must come before the JS files of jplot and let us see now this one is empty where we have to bring that code and this is the web.config we can set it to true so that in case we need debugging we can do it so we are closing it so basically what we have to do is we have to import the JavaScript code into this index.cshtml. There can be so many views in this project. So there is no point in uh, putting that JS code into the layout file because otherwise it will get generated for each view. So what we want is that that, that JavaScript code should only be included if this view is being shown. That is a different thing if uh, we are going to show the same chart on all pages then of course that code should be added to the layout page. So here we will add the JavaScript code and let us now have a look at the JavaScript code what it is about. This is the code that we have to import. What we will do is we will view source and from there we will copy the JavaScript code. That is a better approach. It might not copy properly from here. So right click view source and get it maximized and here we'll have to just look for that that is the code here it is script copy copy it copy it up to the end of the script so we are copying the entire script tag we'll come back to our and paste it there so this is our view and let us paste it here. So this is what we get in our view here. Next now let us go back to the source again. Uh, we will look at the source here. This is the source file. We can see one thing that uh, there is some reference to a double quote chart one. So generally in such plugins a element with ID is generally manipulated. So we can just have a look at the top. Here it is dive ID chart one style is width. So this is the one which is probably being manipulated by this jQuery code and it is the inner HTML of this chart that is probably being manipulated. So we will copy this and also bring it into our project. So just below this we will paste it, paste it here, format it and now let us run it and see whether we are getting the output or not. Okay, the output is there. This means we have been able to generate the chart with the values that were preloaded and we have been able to import it correctly. Now our next step is to bring in the model or the view model and generate this code from the database.